cool is that shirt that this guy has on in the front row? How amazing is that? Anyway, glad you're with us. Uh, South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem generating a lot of buzz as a possible running mate in 2024. Speculation that Donald Trump would want her on his ticket. That's growing ahead of a rare visit pr- from him. He's going to South Dakota. Meanwhile, she continues to tout her state's thriving economy with a brand new ad out today. Take a look at this. Let's look on the bright side. South Dakota stayed open for business during the pandemic. Now we've got more jobs than people. So I'm filling in until you get here. South Dakota is the freest state in America and the best state to live, work and raise a family. We accept most out of state professional licenses and we have over 20,000 open jobs, including for electricians. South Dakota. Freedom works here. Oh, no. I'm a lousy electrician. All right, Governor uh, Christy Noem is with us. Thank you, Governor. We appreciate you being here. All right, I have a question. So this ad campaign is you've got more jobs than you have people. You have no state income tax, correct? Correct. And you've been a a welder, a plumber, or electrician in these ads. What else? Oh, a dentist. dentist. I forgot that. It was my very first day in that ad. That's right. But I think this one might be my favorite. Uh, The lights did come back on in our state capitol, thankfully. But be glad I'm not there with my tools tonight in your studio. I'm not sure uh, if you would keep the lights on. So here's the amazing thing that you told me, and I still can't get over this. If pe- well, first of all, people have a license and a profession, that's transferable. That They don't have to get a new license in your state. They can bring their license from another state, right? Correct. If, if they're a realtor, a cosmetologist, a barber, uh, you know, if they are an electrician, plumber, dentist, we will recognize it immediately and they can get right to work. And... We're also training people on the job so that they can come here, fill a job position, and immediately get licensed while they're working. So it's a fantastic opportunity to start a new life here in South Dakota where people enjoy being free every single day. So I was an apprentice carpenter until I fell off a roof three stories and busted up my arm and my face uh, and my teeth, which did not help my television career. Um, But I I was was getting paid $5 an hour. You're, you told me that apprentice, uh, apprenticeships are available that will start people out to teach them a trade and a craft at eighty and $85,000 a year? Yeah, it's, the average is close to $80,000 per year, according to the U.S. labor statistics. And here in South Dakota, we have opportunities just like that. In fact, Sean, we are training teachers and getting them their licenses while they're in the classroom teaching kids. Uh, We've got an incredible shortage of nurses, uh, and offering these apprenticeships is a great opportunity for people to get that career and maybe do it a little later in life. When they still have to have a job and put food on the table for their kids, uh, they can still get that license and move up. It's a fantastic opportunity that we've just streamlined the process and made it possible for so many people. So wherever I go, whenever we have audience shows, people will ask me, you know, um, I'll ask them, who do, who do they think would be good vice presidential candidates? A little different question than the horse race. And uh, your name comes up every single solitary time. Now, you tried to dodge, duck, weave and pull a Joe Biden on me. You don't like this question. However, if you were asked to be vice president with somebody, maybe Donald Trump, would you do it? Well, number one, what you've always asked me is if I'm running for president. So uh, this is a different question. And I will tell you that, of course, I would consider it. I think everybody should consider it. Our country is breaking right in front of our very eyes today, and everybody should be a part of putting it back on its foundation. And if President Trump is going to be back in the White House, I do all I can to help him be successful. Um, wow. Good answer. But now I'll ask the question everyone else asks. Do you have any future presidential ambitions at this time? Oh, I'm focused here. You know that, Sean. I'm consistent. But, you know, this is the, this is the goal, is, is to continue to live a life of significance. I think we all should get up every single day and do what we can to protect this greatest experiment in history. Our founders gave us an incredible gift. Let's not drop the ball on our watch. Governor, it's an inspiring story. South Dakota, what's going on with your economy? The lo- By the way, the lowest unemployment in the country, if I'm not mistaken, and the, I think the lowest in, in the history of any state, if I'm not mistaken, right? 
That is correct. And thousands of people are moving to South Dakota right now. It is incredible to watch them pick up their families and come for our opportunities. We invite everybody to give us a call. FreedomWorksHere.com. For all you people from New York and New Jersey, you won't pay any state income tax. Thank you, Governor.